It began January 20th, 1994. You couldn't walk straight. People don't know what to do. Some called it unusual. Just get so full that they're just, wow. It carried her home. Others called it interesting. Their lives are totally transformed. You live through it. It was unprecedented. And because of it, hundreds of thousands of people drew to a city, a church, to experience the Toronto Blessing. What you are about to see now is a thing called Shaktipat um, and it's from the Hindu religions and what they do, just let me tell you what a Shaktipat is now I am reading from Wikipedia so just give me a chance here so Shaktipat or Shaktipata Sanskrit from Shakti en psychic energy and pata to fall refers in Hinduism to the conferring of spiritual energy upon one person by another. Shaktipat can be transmitted with a sacred word or mantra or by a look, thought or touch. The last usually to the Anka Chakra or third eye of the recipient. Shaktipat is considered an act of grace, a nugaraha on the part of the Guru or the Divine. It cannot be imposed by force, nor can the receiver make it happen. The very consciousness of the God or Guru is held to enter into the self of the disciple, constitution and initiation into the school of the spiritual family, Kula, of the Guru. It is held that Shaktipat can be transmit transmitted in person or at a distance through the object such as a flower or fruit. Okay, so what you have been seeing there is you'll notice that they touch their heads, right? Now, sometimes they touch the, the front of their forehead and they touch their body. <coughs> they touch their body. But sometimes they don't even have to touch them. Sometimes they send this the psychic energy, and I believe this is what Benny Hinn does. He sends out the psychic energy and the people all fall over. Um, so that's what you've been seeing there as far as the Shaktipat, um, as far as touching and they can't control themselves.
por eso al último está la This is Laura coming to you today from End Time Apostasy, and I'm just going to comment on what we just saw. What we saw there was total confusion, lack of self-control, no gentleness, no joy. Um, what we saw there was demonic and satanic and evil. Now, let me just say this. I'm going to read some of this psalm. This is from a psalm of David. Now, I understand that this is in the Old Testament, so... He'll be talking about um, things that pertain to the Old Testament. But David realizes something about God. And, you know, and I want you to listen to this. It talks about how amazing God is and how much he loves us. So let's just listen to this. Okay. O oh Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my dance sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thought from far, from afar off. Thou compasseth my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it, whither I shall go from thy spirit, or whether I, whether shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend unto heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy right hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. For if I say, Surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day, and the darkness and the light are both alike to thee. 
for thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lower parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, as yet there was none of them. Okay, how precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are in more number than the sand. When, I'm a, when I awake, I am there with thee. Now you guys can read the rest of that. But I just want you to understand that each solitary soul that the Lord has created is made in the image and the likeness of God. Now God warned us in the last day that the false prophets and false teachers would come and they wouldn't look nice and they would infiltrate the church. And Paul cried because he warned the people through the obviously he was used of the Holy Spirit to write this in the scripture but Paul cried Paul the Apostle cried because he knew that there was going to be false teaching he talks about this in the book of Timothy there was going to be Gnostic teaching and um, which is false teaching but he cried because he knew that this was going to happen okay now what we're seeing right now in these quote-unquote churches and um, are is something that has been prophesied by Jesus so you know brothers and sisters I want you to understand something you are each solitary soul is so loved by God you know and yes God has a righteous anger and yes God is is, is totally love but he's also a God of justice and <clears throat> When God, you know, was in the temple and they were selling stuff in the temple, you saw him get angry because he's a, he had a righteous anger which was pure and holy and good because he was God in fle in the flesh. So, brothers, I'm gonna, brothers and sisters, I'm gonna leave you with the truth of the gospel. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall have eternal life. John 3.16, a very famous um, scripture in the Bible. <coughs> now, <coughs> what is the gospel? Jesus Christ died on the cross. He shed his blood to cover over our sin. He rose on the third day. And if you repent and trust in what Jesus Christ did on the cross, and trust in that, trust in the finished Walk of the work of the cross, you shall be saved. That is a promise. The Lord said, you shall be sealed until the day of redemption, and nobody can take you out of this hand. So, brothers and sisters, I hope this has helped you to understand that what you're seeing in the churches, for those of you who do not know and are still young, and the Lord has, the Lord loves you so much. And he wants you protected and cared for. The Lord says to test everything in light of scripture. And this is what I have done. So this is all I have for you at the moment. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And may the Lord let his light to shine upon you. And I'll talk to you super soon. Bye for now. Bye bye.